Well, guys, um, this is CMB Tractor here. Uh, as you can hear in the background, there's something running. Um, and I um, would like to show you. Um, three of the four tires hold air, but um, of the, the one that doesn't hold air is so stiff that it doesn't matter, so I still drive it around. Um, actually, it's running really good. There is a little bit of a lifter tick, and I think I can solve that by putting a high zinc oil and some uh, STP oil treatment, or Lucas oil treatment in it to soften up the um, cam a little bit just so it doesn't go flat. Um, but the tractor actually runs really good, um, so I'll turn, it, uh, turn the camera around to you guys now. So yeah, here's the uh, tractor. It's leaking gas. Wow, it's leaking good. Uh, yeah, I may not want to drive that a whole lot. Um, so it does need um, a carburetor gasket. Um, I, re I didn't rebuild it, I cleaned it up and of course it leaks. But, um, so the tire that doesn't hold air is this one, but it's uh, so stiff it doesn't matter. As you can see, it's kind of, uh, both of the tires. This tire looks pretty good still. Inside of these, these hold air, but inside of these aren't looking too fresh. Um, so, yeah, I just figured I'd take you on a ride with it. Um, it's actually charging, which really surprised me. And, uh, so, I guess to run this thing, is I haven't even cleaned the shit off of this from it being in the barn. But, I guess to run this, my amp gauge is actually working just a little bit. Um, so there's your range selector for your 8 speed. So we're going to put it in high. Uh, we'll put it in... I can't even remember what goes where. I think this might be reverse. Here, let me check that out. Yep, that's reverse. Okay, so why don't we put it in first? I think this is first. And that's high range. Switch, let's switch it, switch it to low range and see what happens there. See how slow or, or forward is. That's forward in low range, or uh, speed one. This is it in high range. A little bit faster. So we'll put it in, uh, I guess we'll put it in this gear, whatever this gear is. That's second gear high range. So, throttle it up. You can hear a little bit of I think that's probably fixable. Um, I may even do an oil change on it tonight, depending on what happens, but right now, you know, it's actually running really good for how long it's been sitting. Um, it was smoking pretty good, but I ran it up this hill that we're going down. I ran it up at uh, and revved it up as I was going up a few times, um, trying to reseat the rings, give it a little bit of a load, put it in third gear, and go all the way up. So uh, yeah, this gear, this tractor actually hauls ass. Like you wouldn't think, but it actually really hauls. Yeah. This, ooh. yeah, this tractor actually goes, like if you rev it up a little bit, there's a truck, so there's the mower deck, um, but yeah, this tractor actually hauls ass, like it's kind of surprising, I guess, let throttle it up just a little bit, it's not running the best, but it's running good enough to take around and freight around just a little bit, so I'm going to grab brake actually works. Go up a little bit of an incline here in first gear. So yeah, the tractor actually runs really good. I was surprised. Just creeping up it. Concrete wheel weights. So, uh, yeah, let's get up the hill here and turn it around, and then uh, I guess I'll show you the implements. This will be a little bit long of a video, for, but watch here. I'll let it spin. There, lock, lock the brakes, and 
guess we'll put it in second. How about that? That's a little bit faster. So. Yeah, the pressure actually holds ass, which I'm kind of happy about because the company that's a dog at like five miles an hour. It doesn't go very fast. And no, it's not messed up. It's just slow. Um, so this is fast enough though for now. Yeah, the car needs adjusted and probably needs to be cleaned again for the third time as I just cleaned it. Uh, but let's drop it into. So this is your brake and this is your clutch. On the John Deere, it's all in one. It's kind of cool, but uh, kind of not cool. It's, it's weird. It's it's more like a tractor, which I like, versus John Deere. So. And then the Cup Cadet's hydro, so it doesn't matter. Let's see if we can get this thing to grunt down a little bit. sharp too. It turns so nice and sharp. Like look, that's pretty sharp. I can turn right around this little campfire thing. I'll turn right into it if I wanted to. I like that. That's a nice thing. John Deere doesn't turn sharp worth a damn and nor does the Cub Cadet. Those both suck. So. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'll uh, get off. I'll park the tractor and uh, I gotta park it on kind of ill. Yes, the brakes do work. See, we can lock them right up. But, um, I just wanna park it on the incline, I guess. And, uh, shut it down. Let's see, take it out of gear. Out of gear. And then, uh, I guess we should. is about to stop right about now so uh, I'm tired it's probably about 830 already so unfortunately um, I'll show you inside here a little bit unfortunately the mower deck can't be saved um, don't know if you can see all this but this is rust this is the mower deck itself so so much for that um, here's the mower deck it's it's pretty far gone so um has some holes up here has some major rot down there i don't know if you can see it that well but um the hole back here is all rotted out i think this one's uh gonna be parts um which the guy did rebuild the spindles and stuff but uh, apparently he didn't clean it because it does not um it is not very solid so it must have got some moisture in there on the other hand Here's something that might be a little bit more rare, a snowblower. Um, yeah, so look, the auger even works. I haven't had that, because the tractor was parked, you can see where it was parked for 10 years, and uh, it was butt tight against this, so you couldn't, you couldn't uh, do anything with it, um, look at it or nothing. So um, yeah, I guess, I don't know what else there is to do other than park the damn thing for the night, but yeah, it's leaking pretty good. Damn, that sucks. It's definitely leaking. So, sounds like I think it's about time to get a uh, carburetor gasket for that, which is only like, I don't know, fucking 13 bucks or some shit. So, uh, yeah, uh, but this I got for parts. I'm, I probably will end up keeping this, but it's not going to go on the tractor. I was going to try mowing with it, but it's just too unsafe to mow with. Who knows if the deck the spindles will go right through the deck or not like look at this front wheel look how you can move like it can flex up that's not good so i'm gonna clean up guys um yeah so here's a tractor it's in damn good shape um i think once i clean it up it'll be even in better shape but for now uh 
This is uh, CMB Tractor saying peace out. Um, ride like a horse and comment, rate, and subscribe, I guess. <laughs> um, here's a glimpse of the Ford. And done.